Hi guys and welcome to this episode of the Just My Opinion podcast. Today we are going to be going back in time. We are going to be going back in time to 2013 when Bonaboy was signed to the Aristocraft label and we are going to read this blog article which talks about it and some of the challenges he faced with that whole experience and we will be reacting to that. Hi Ambassador. Hello people, Shiba Ambassador Ambassador again doing his thing. Okay, so let me read this article which says, um, throwback, when Bonaboy signed for Aristocraft July 2011. When his debut album Live dropped in August 2013, Bonaboy wasn't pleased with the way the label handled the marketing and release of the album and he complained. The label didn't pay him 10M upfront payment for the album as agreed. Bonaboy left Aristocraft in an Acrimonious split. Wow. Leaving behind his first producer, L- Lyric, and other label mates like Ozone's, Pacado, Mojid, and Vector. There was a disagreement that led to him sacking his mother, Namix, as his official manager. From an interview, she said Bona Boy was being stubborn and arrogant even to his mom. It became official when the singer shot a video of his first song, Dong Godong, with the label imprint missing. At this time, Bona was banned from UK because him and his gang stabbed someone to death. So he moved to South Africa, working as a backup singer for the South African rapper, AKA. 2015, Bona Boy launched his own record label, Starship, which was affiliated with Sony Music. Okay, did you know this? Like, there's a lot of this that is new to me. No, so I knew a lot of these things, but not not as detailed as this. So I knew it was in the UK, had the whole court case thing there. He could not go back to the UK. Um, I want when he came to Nigeria, when he sang, I've just, I always forget the name of this song, but I remember a song which was looking very, the video was looking very basic. I remember somebody dancing on some tar pavement in the middle of the road, some galala dance. I always remember that. That was the first time I saw him. Um, then I think he moved to Ghana, did a couple of things there in Ghana, came back to Nigeria, then moved to South Africa. I think I might be having the timing wrong. But uh, yeah, I did not know all the level drama that was happening there. But I knew one time he fired his mom. Uh, also, I knew that he went and worked with AK. I don't know if he, he was there as a backup singer, as the, the, the article puts it. I don't know if he was there, but I know that he was working. And that's where it became big, big, when he worked with those South African guys. I think they had the capital to push it. He had the mad talent to give bangers back to back. Then he moved back to Nigeria. So, yeah. I was aware of this trajectory, but not with some of the details involved. But yeah, and, and I think it's not only to just say this will happen to Bona. I think it's also upcoming artists should learn from these things. Mm. So the movement he had to make before becoming the Bona that is Bona. Also, I think the fact that he, he started working again with his mother, his mother had been very instrumental to his success. Mm. There is a certain level of madness which only a more major can be able to co- coordinate and control where she has authority to which is above her legal manager authority, given that she's your mother. Mm-hmm. Like somebody was saying, Bonaboy is even crazier than David and Whiskey, but he wonders why he does not have all the scandals and baby mama dramas Whiskey and David have. Mm-hmm. Then he said, maybe it's because his mom is his manager. Because it's a certain point where she puts on the mother cap and she does not want to even, you can start as a manager, but you cannot start as a mother. Mm-hmm. So she's going to go ahead. Yeah. So they were like, if we know Bonner Boy is way, he's, I mean, like he's, he's actually just see his face and know that this guy is stubborn. <laughs> um, he's out there, he, yeah. He, People say he smokes the weed and all of those things more than all the Bonaboy and Davido put together. But you wonder why his career is steady, he's scandal free, he's yeah. I think it's because his mother is a manager. And for people who usually start off young, Davido, Whiskey, and all and Bonaboy, I think all of these guys started even younger than Bonaboy when they blew up. We saw in the case of like 
Bow Wow, his mother was his manager, lots of those cases. You need your mother there to guide you to maybe you are in your thirties. Mm. Then you can now try to same thing with Beyonce. Their fa- her father was dead. So she even got married to Jay Z. Then I think she she moved on. Yes. Yeah, so I think that that's the lesson to take from, from this story. Of he had his ups and downs. He had scary stories that look like they can shut down any man's life, star or not star. But he kept him moving. Mm. But I also think the Achilles heel in this story might also be the fact that his mother was there beside him. Mm. Some of his roughest of times. So he also believed in his career because he had been bouncing from place to place like that. It's easy to give up. If he kept on chasing the dream, chasing the dream to Bonner is the Bonner we know today. I think he yeah, had lots of lessons to learn from this. And yeah, the, 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 the African arts and their level drama is never... You cannot miss to, 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 the, to the layout. That's why Echo Online is there to solve some of those problems. Which I always tell them, guys, jump on Echo Online. You you don't always need a label. Labels are needed at the point in time, but you don't always need the label. It's usually where labels are not giving you what you want. You can make your things happen by yourself. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. I, I I like the angle which you looked at. Is like upcoming artists today we see the name grammy award winning artist bona his name is bigger than life he has all these big collaborations he has these viral songs and then some upcoming artists can see it and feel like oh okay he did this then he jumped and then he did this but i I like that this story takes us back in time where okay this was a period in his life where there were like you said things which can shut down somebody's life or things which might make you feel like okay everything is south from here on so yeah i i i like i like that point of view and it's it's definitely a a wake up call for several upcoming artists and like so for the person out there who doesn't have a mom who is engaged in the entertainment field or a dad who is engaged in the entertainment field i think it might do you some good if you have you look for a mentor either ways so even if it's not a parent figure who can be there for you it's it's it, it, it will provide you a lot of value if you have somebody a mentor a rational mind an elderly mind who can help you guide your career so yeah i'm saying that so um i think we can proceed to talk about our sponsors yeah i think i already started giving hints of echoes online i tell people echoes online is an app and a website which is here to democratize the playing field for all african artists and also help democratize the art what done by democratize it means almost everybody has access to it as long as you have a phone you have access to echoes online just create a profile on their site take the link share it on all your social media handles encourage your fans to Follow you on Echo Online. Unlike the other sites where they just like and comment, Echo Online, their wallet is next to their fan base. The moment that I can say that, so your fans can actually translate to supporting you using their money, because Echo Online it's like a marketplace where they can actually buy your things, they can buy your music, buy your merch, buy your tickets, and it's adapted to the premium methods in Africa. So using mobile money, they pay for those things. Using mobile money, you also withdraw your money. Most of your fans don't have credit cards, they don't have bank accounts, but they have phones and they have mobile money accounts. So they can actually buy and support. Same thing with the home of upcoming ads. They don't have accounts like that. So when you're using your phone, you can pull out your money, you invest in your career, and then get your fans to follow you even more. That way you are building a community on record online too. You can also get endorsement deals by using those the, the command which you have and getting your fans to buy and support your things. You also tell labels like you get your fans to buy and support their products too. So that's also leverage you could use. It has very strong analytics which you could see directly from your phone and you could use that to also get deals and then strategize to know where to organize your next contest, where to sell your merch, to know where your fan base is strongest, using your analytics on Echo Online. Also, I tell people, it does not just suffice to uh, say we are trying to build the industry. It all in all hands on deck. So, Echo the Online, that's their contribution. Chakara TV, we are here. If you put your song in Echo the Online, just share the link on any of our comments. We're going to pick it up and push it on all the channels we have possible to support your music. Because when you grow, we grow and we all grow. So, guys, as I said, jump on Echo the Online, share it with us, and remember your boy Ambassador. Thank you guys for tuning into this episode of Just My Opinion Podcast. Subscribe. 
hidden notification button let us know what you think in the comments below and see you guys next time bye guys